Hello, everybody. In this video, I'm going to go over how to set up your Charisma Library account. Okay, so first things first, whenever you receive your account credentials, they should be in your email inbox. Okay, normally, um, you're going to see this in your Charisma email, but just for the sake of um, giving you an example, I'm going to show it to you from my Gmail. So you should get an email in your inbox that looks like this. Okay, your subject is um, info and then Charisma Library and Writing Center registration. Okay, your um, Charisma Library and Writing Center login information is going to be the same thing. Okay, they're both this, it's both the same account. All right, so you're gonna first open up that email and this is what it's gonna look like. Okay, it's gonna give you a link to go ahead and set up your account. And then it's also gonna give you your username and your password. So what I would typically wanna do is make sure that I copy each one or you can memorize it, whatever you wanna do. And then go ahead and click that link. <laughs> then all you got to do is paste in your new username and password. Hit login. And this is what it should pull up. Okay. So as soon as you get into the library, here you are. Okay, this is um, your home screen. So this is what it should show. Okay, um, on the home page. Now, if you go further down, it'll show you how to access library and set up Grammarly. Um, so you probably want to go ahead and watch that video. It's a pretty good watch. Now, to start using the library, what you're going to do, once you get to the library homepage, um, to your left-hand corner or your left-hand side, you're gonna hit start your research. Okay, so go ahead and click start your research. And then once you do that, you will get to this page that gives you a plethora of different categories or topics for research. And within each category, there are different databases. So each of these databases will have different, um, will provide you with different forms of information for whatever you are searching for. Okay, whatever you're doing your research on. So for example, um, the ProQ, that would be these ones, these red ones. These are the ProQ database and this is the Gale One file database. All right, so we have two different types. And they generally, depending on what type of research you're doing, what you're looking, you know, what, what type of um, information you need. Do you need articles? Do you need primary um, peer-reviewed information? Do you need eBooks? So depending on what you need and even the more specific, um, a more specific, um, on what you need, you can go ahead and curate your search with these different databases. If you were looking at cars and engineering, you may want to go into the automotive section and um, click on the engineering database. Okay, if you wanted to look at automotive stuff and what that has to do with the army, military, anything like that, you may wanna to go to the military database in the automotive section or aviation. Maybe you wanna look up um, flight stuff, um, pilot 
doing work in business and you want to look for something that would be more of like world news and world articles, you probably want to go to the business section and click on the ProQ database for Inform Global. If you're doing business technology or business computer science, you may want to go to the business section and, um, you know, computer science may be up your alley or news. Um, and the, on the Gale One file database. If you're looking for ebooks, typically Gale, the Gale database has your ebooks. Okay, ProQ has ebooks as well. And just kind of depending on the category, um, the category of subject matter that you're looking for, each um, one sort of has different databases. So, you know, the computer science may not always have everything that, um, you know, the business category has. Another thing that you should know when you're doing your research is that most of the Gale One file databases will have an option for you to um, to listen to the article being read to you instead of having to read it to yourself. Um, not every ProQ has that, but um, most of the Gale One files do have that. So let me go ahead and give you like a quick example. I guess I clicked on vacations and careers. Let's go click on human services maybe. And Let's just click on the first article that we see here. And as you can see at the top right here, you can, it has an icon, a button, if you will, um, where you can click and it allows you to listen to the whole article. So you can actually go ahead and have the article read to you. Now, if I didn't have a mic hooked up to my computer right now, we would actually be able to hear or to listen to this article being read to us. But, you know, it's not, we're not able to do so because I have a mic connected. But um, for your reference, that is, this is going to be what it looks like. So if you ever need an article to be read to you for whatever reason, um, you do have that option.